Hi, Mauro. Really nice to meet you. Can you tell me what you do at Vozilla? Yeah, my name is Mauro Sacchi. I'm the head in the business development uh, function in Vozilla Corporation for the marine business. So in that role, I would expect you're very familiar with leadership um, and uh, in your role and also perhaps um, seeing it in the company. Here we're talking about leadership in the maritime sector. So I just wondered how important it is to you to have those discussions about the effectiveness of leadership and leadership models. Uh, it's fundamental. Uh, in a world that is constantly changing and it's increasing in complexity, uh, leadership is what is needed, not only management. So we need people who are able to uh, have a vision, understand what to do, and able to inspire and drive an organization then to uh, uh, de-entangle this complexity in successful businesses for better societies. So really it's a bottom-up approach, not just a top-down approach anymore. We need to make sure those on the, on the bottom rungs, if you like, feel empowered uh, by their leadership to really give the best that they can. Absolutely, and it's not only about empowerment, it's also about inspiration, uh, freedom to think, make decisions. Uh, so the organization should totally change compared to how they are today. And this is happening as we speak. It's a long process, uh, but that's uh, required if maritime and also other industry uh, want to strive for better society and better business performance as well. So. Do you think there are other sectors that we could look to for inspiration? So how to do it better, how to improve the way we, we, we lead people? Yeah, we are often tempting to look at uh, those sectors that are maybe making more the headline, that are mm -hmm. a bit too far away from ours. I mean, a change is happening steps. Uh, so rather than looking at the usual suspect like Google, Amazon, Apple uh, in the tech uh, uh, industry, uh, I would have suggested to look at other vertical, maybe in transportation like aviation or land transport, mm -hmm. where, for example, there is uh, quite a lot of change. If you think uh, what is happening with Tesla, Elon Musk management style, uh, it's uh, quite of a change for a vertical which is anyway quite conservative. But you're optimistic we can do it? Uh, we can and we have to. <laughs> so right. sometimes the need drives also the, 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 the execution of what we have to go through. Mm -hmm. So the, the planet uh, demands that we take actions and maritime has to uh, make its dent into this journey. And so it's important not only that we embrace this for our own success as company and uh, as institution, uh, but we also contribute to the journey that as mankind we have to go through. My final question for you is, do you think that academia or governments could do more to support this, this move along this leadership journey uh, and help support us to, to, to get further along it, um, perhaps more quickly than we are maybe moving towards it now? Well, uh, of course, uh, they play a fundamental role in, the, in raising, let's say, the, the, the new generation, the new talents that will come. So they have to play along and uh, in certain area also they have to show the way. Uh, because the, the new generation, before actually joining organizations like ours, uh, they first go through a learning process, uh, through what you call academia. And that has to actually foresee, very important role, has to foresee what maybe is not needed today, but will be needed tomorrow or 10 years down the road. Uh, it's a big challenge for academia, uh, but that's, uh, that's what we would expect. Thank you so much for your thoughts. You're very welcome.